Hi, Pastor Jeff here with my good friend John Longworth, who's going to give us a little bit of a piece on entering into contemplation. We're here at the Barbara Harris Retreat Center in New Hampshire, and I brought you all this stuff. So here you go. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Why is it then when we enter into our prayer space, we feel like maybe God isn't even there, or we haven't had a time to actually be with God? A lot of times our prayer space is like this table. It's just full of crap. There's all this stuff. I don't know whose sunglasses these are. Thanks, Jeff, for all this extra stuff. You know, we get to the table and not only is all our own stuff here, but other people's things are piled up as well. In order to get to that space, the first thing we need to do is at least try to make a little bit of a clean and clear space. Because after all, you wouldn't want to welcome someone to sit across the table from you when you've got junk everywhere. They don't want to sit across from your junk and probably you don't want to sit there with it either. Once we've got the clear space, now we're ready for something new. Now we're ready to set the table. Maybe we're going to have a picnic. Maybe it's time to have coffee. I wonder if they still have any coffee in the dining room right now. Oh, they probably put it away. But it's a space that we can set the table to be ready to welcome the one that we want to spend time with. And that is really the meditation part, is to create the clear space, the quiet space, the still space, and know that in that space, we're ready to receive the other. Now, as soon as we walk away from the table, or maybe even if we look away, someone might decide to run by and just dump more stuff on our space. Especially when we're leaders in the church or people who are relied on as caregivers, people feel free to dump their stuff in our space. All the time. Finding a way to get the table clear is really what helps us get into the space for contemplation. What is contemplation? It's expecting that at this other seat, the beloved one, the Savior who called us, is ready to take that seat and not only to be present, but to share in everything that we have going on at that table. Whether it's just a cup of coffee or a pizza or whatever it is that we want to share together, we can enjoy the simple presence. And sometimes, just sometimes, you reach that moment where you look into the beloved's eyes and they say, I love you so much. And there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Are we ready to listen to what comes next? And if today's not that day where they have that important news to share with you, are we ready just to sit and enjoy a long and loving look at the one thing we know is real?